What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about something that's actually kind of crazy for me to even think about. I haven't really thought about it a lot lately and then it kind of hit me uh, what time of year it is and I kind of wanna reflect on the last year uh, of my life and where I was and where I am now because a lot of things have changed over the last year and it's it's really kind of just mind-blowing to think about where I was a year ago and where I am right now. So if we kind of take a trip through time to last year, April 1st of 2020, that is the day that I was laid off from my job in my previous career. Uh, previously, I was working as a field chemist in the oil field industry. For anybody who does not know what that means, um, essentially what I did was uh, I ran and chemical operations for the oil field at the time. So I worked for a company that supplied chemicals for hydraulic fracturing. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's a whole other topic on its own. Just Google it and you'll find tons of information about it if that's something that you happen to be interested in. As I'm sure a lot of you remember, like March, April last year um, was pretty much like the peak of COVID. Nobody really knew what was happening, but we knew that a lot of uh, industries were being dramatically affected especially the oil and gas industry where I was at the time due to substantial decrease in demand. Nobody was traveling, everything was closed. Airlines were getting less travel because of travel restrictions. So there really just wasn't a demand for uh, what we were doing at the time. And the oil field wasn't exactly booming in the first place at that point in time. So um, there really just became a lack of work. And because of that, pretty much like 35% of uh, the entire company that I was working for at the time was all laid off in the same day. It was kind of surprising because a week prior I had talked to my boss and we were told that, um, you know, we had already done layoffs the year prior and we were told that we should be good. Uh, we shouldn't expect to have any layoffs because we had already gone through it. But apparently this came from way over his head and a whole bunch of us lost our jobs. Um, so it was surprising, but at the same time, it was kind of relieving, I guess I could say. I was working in a job that required a lot of travel. Um, I have a wife and a kid and pets and things like that, and uh, I was only home about seven days a month. So there was a lot of stress uh, kind of in my personal life because of that. And strangely enough, like I should have, I feel like I should have felt more stressed about losing my job, but it was actually kind of like a relief and like a weight off my shoulders like a bunch of stress kind of just like evaporated i wasn't totally sure at the time what i was going to do next but uh, i had i had already been learning code for a long time going the self-taught route so i knew what i wanted to do career wise because i had already been working towards this career change for a long time uh, I just was not quite at a position yet where I was competitive in the job market. Uh, so after leaving my job, I spent about a month trying to kind of figure out what I wanted to do, but also spend some time with my family. I really considered uh, kind of continuing to try and stay in the same line of work, maybe not necessarily in the oil field, but uh, doing, doing something mechanical related because I have a mechanical related background due to my experience in the military. Um, I was a gas turbine uh, mechanic while I was in the military, so I have a lot of you know, technical knowledge and things like that. However, the downside to this is that I never really enjoyed this line of work. I was never passionate about it. The money was okay, it paid the bills, but I knew that it was not what I wanted to do for the long term. So I had a uh, fairly lengthy conversation with my wife about, you know, what I really wanted to do, which she knew already what I wanted to do was uh, to become a developer, to continue learning to code, but to do it professionally. And this is a very, kind of difficult uh, profession to land that first job in. You have to be very competitive or have, you know, uh, you, have, you have to stand out um, amongst the crowd essentially because there's so many people trying to land these entry level jobs that already have like ridiculous requirements for them. And it's, it's not easy to get your start in. So I was trying to find like an edge to make me seem more competitive uh, to kind of take my knowledge over um, to the next to the next level in order to be more competitive in that initial job market and there comes April So in April of 2020 is when I initially applied to hack reactor I did a little bit of their like prep course material and then I decided to go ahead and take their TAA Which is like their admittance assessment uh, basically um, you get three tries to take and pass this exam uh, fortunately, um, I'd already had, you know, some experience from self-teaching and things like that. So I actually managed to pass it on the first try, which was great for me because I found out, you know, very quickly that uh, I was accepted to the program. So from there, I started doing their pre-course uh, material for like the next six weeks or so. 
um, which led into the immersive program. The software engineering immersive program at Hack Reactor was, and I am like by no means like an advocate for Hack Reactor, but it was one of the best decisions that I think that I've ever made uh, in terms of my career. And I say this because uh, I, I think that uh, while while I, I was very fortunate in my outcome from this program, I found a job. I actually received my first uh, offer letter 30 days after graduating from the program. And, and that's very fast, even for like the average graduate, like does not uh, receive an offer letter that quickly, at least not that I'm aware of. But I do honestly think that like by the time that I received that offer, I still do not think that I would have been working in the industry yet uh, had I continued to learn on my own. Um, I think that the rigorous structure of the program, uh, as well as having a sense of direction, uh, like a, a career mentor of sorts to kind of help guide me um, on like what what I can do to make my resume better. Uh, how can I improve these cover letters? How can I increase my callback rates? Uh, what am I doing wrong in these interviews? Things like this. These are were such like invaluable assets to me during that whole time period. And honestly, like I think that it really just gave me such a huge boost that you know I think I would not have otherwise had, and it would have held me back. I had such a wonderful experience from the staff there. Uh, my cohort, everybody was great, and I, I got the opportunity to code along with and work with all of these these wonderful people, not to mention the incredible alumni network that I got out of graduating from that program that has, you know, over 6,000 people in it. And I've met some great people from that alumni network as well. And, it, you know, networking in this field is huge. So I really can't like undersell like how important that uh, that aspect of it really is. And then even since going to Hack Reactor, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, actually, like they, you know, they've actually had me come back and talk to uh, some some graduating seniors. I've already done it once actually and uh, I'm actually doing it again this coming Tuesday. I'm speaking to uh, the graduating cohort coming out of uh, one of the Colorado campuses, which which is kind of crazy because it's like, you know, that's something I never really like thought that I would do. But uh, it also really makes me glad that I started doing like YouTube and Instagram and things like that because uh, YouTube more, more so and specifically has really helped a lot with like my public speaking. Still not great at it, but it's, it's something that I think is definitely improved because of this platform. And, uh, you know, it kind of gives me something to talk about to people and something to practice. So, but it's crazy that they would even have me come back for that. It's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's pretty awesome. Like they could ask anybody, but they asked me and a couple other people. So, you know, I'm, and uh, I like giving back to that community that gave so much to me. So it really, uh, you know, kind of means a lot to be able to go back and do that. And uh, not even just Hack Reactor, uh, I actually had the opportunity, um, thanks to one of my mentors that works at Cloudflare, I had the opportunity to be invited to uh, do a fireside chat for Veterans Day last year for their Vets and Tech uh, segments on Cloudflare TV, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's out there somewhere, it's a recorded segment. But it was it was pretty cool to be able to, to do that. You know, I think that it's just so crazy that like, you know, somebody like even like myself, who's like new to this industry and I have, you know, like I have a couple small like social media platforms, but I, I have been given the opportunity to to have this reach um, to, you know, kind of give back to this community that uh, has given so much to me. And I think that it's really cool that like I kind of have the opportunity to do that even from smaller platforms like this or to the large ones. Uh, like Cloudflare TV. But if we fast forward to September of 2020, that is when I graduated from Hack Reactor, uh, September 25th to be more specific. During my job search, I applied to quite a few companies. I think total, if you don't count one-click applications, because I don't, uh, I think it was around like 47 applications uh, and one offer letter which is a pretty good ratio if you ask me. Uh, I can't complain about that too much, but I did accept the first job that uh, I was offered. Um, I kind of needed a job at the time, so you know I wasn't being too picky about the outcome of that. Uh, I was just happy to be offered a position as a developer. So I ended up receiving that offer letter on October 26th of 2020, um, and that was pretty much the start of uh, my professional development journey. So I started that job November 2nd and I've been there for about six months now. I plan on doing another video to kind of cover the last six months of that as well. I did a four month uh, job update video that I'll link up here in the corner somewhere too. Um, but I was gonna do another one of those for my six month update uh, just to kind of tell you guys like how that's going, what my experience has been like 
and uh, what I kind of look to forward to going forward and things like that. But it's it's still just kind of like mind blowing to even think about how far I've come in the last 12 months. Things like my Instagram platform have like blown up kind of uh, in a sense, at least blown up to me. Like I have about 3,300, uh, just over 3,300 followers now on Instagram. Uh, which is kind of crazy because I started my Instagram, uh, I believe in May of last year and it it, it, it got pretty good traction uh, in the last half of the year there. And then uh, uh, from January this year, I had 1500 followers now up to 3300. So I've like over doubled my follower count just since January of this year. Uh, so I think I'm on track to pretty much like smash my my Instagram goals for 2021. Um, I still have a ways to go on my YouTube goals. I did slack off there for a while and I'm sorry about that, but I am trying to get my shit together. So keep an eye out for more videos coming in the near future. Uh, really trying to stay back on track with, uh, uh, with YouTube and, uh, you know, hopefully weekly videos. If I miss a week, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to get back on track with weekly videos. But that's really all that I have for you guys today. I really just wanted to reflect on this past year and how just like crazy it's been. Um, I know that not everybody was as fortunate in the last year and uh, I'm very grateful to be in the position that I'm in uh, and to have had the opportunities that I've had over the last year to, to kind of get to where I am today. But even if you're having a hard time, there are opportunities out there. Just keep your eyes open and make sure to take advantage of whatever you can. Uh, to get to where you want to go. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to smash the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your notification bell so you get notified when I post new content. Until next time, guys.